Hello, and thanks for joining Crown Battery as we discuss lead-acid battery energy storage solutions for renewable power systems. In this chapter, we're covering how to properly set up and confirm voltage and timer set points, plus how and when to add water to the lead-acid battery array of your renewable energy system. In the first two sections of the chapter, we demonstrated the correct programming of suggested charging set points using the display on your renewable energy system's charge controller and confirmation of proper, full recharge of a battery bank using hydrometer and charge controller readings. In this section, you'll become familiar with equalization charge protocol, including timing and considerations which may require periodic adjustments to your renewable energy system charge controller settings. To begin with, equalization is a regularly scheduled charge protocol utilized to ensure the charge control meter and hydrometer readings stay in balance with each other meaning a charge control meter shows float voltage reading of 2.25 VPC and battery cell hydrometer readings are at least 1.270. In the first section of the chapter, we demonstrated how to program equalization voltage and timer set points. Equalization is important as it level sets the battery bank and balances chemical properties of batteries to their electrical properties, ensures the battery bank is completely and fully topped off, as well as properly blends the electrolyte, keeping it consistent in its proper density from the top of the cell to the bottom. It should be conducted at least once per month in conjunction with the previously covered proper charging procedures and battery watering, which we'll review in the final segment of this chapter. Equalization should typically be performed only after the system is showing float voltage on the charge control meter. At the end of an equalization charge protocol, the charge control float voltage reading should be at least 2.25 VPC. It actually may be a bit higher, as an equalization charge operates at a higher voltage set point than float. And battery cell hydrometer reading should be at least 1.270 for deep cycle products and 1.290 for industrial power module products. If both of these readings are not achieved, your battery bank requires more charging. As always, Crown recommends using safety glasses and gloves when testing cells or physically handling batteries. Settings that may require adjustment to achieve a full state of charge include voltage, up, down, or timer, longer, shorter, set points, low voltage disconnect setting, or amperage input, energy generation. As temperature also plays a vital role in proper battery charging, performance, and life, Ensuring the charge controller temperature compensation probe or sensor is properly set is very important. The correct temperature compensation settings for Crown Battery Energy Storage Solutions is 3 millivolts per 1 degree Fahrenheit. Other considerations that will have a direct and mostly negative impact on maintaining proper charge protocols include seasonal temperature changes, changes in household or business occupancy, and energy budget fluctuation. Remember, True float voltage is both a 2.25 VPC reading on the charge control meter and battery cell hydrometer reading should be at least 1.270 for deep cycle products and 1.290 for industrial power module products. Balance is the key. Be sure to join us for the last segment of this chapter as we cover battery inspection and watering. Until then, thanks for joining Crown today in our review of equalization charge protocol for RE battery energy storage arrays.